EHRP name mode authentication. Now in this video, we will see how to configure authentication in the new name mode configurations in EHRP. Now if we just get back to the basic configurations, what we have done in the classic mode. In the classic mode, it supports only MD5 authentication where we need to create a keychain and the key number and the key string. It, is to, it has to be defined globally. And in order to have a successful authentication, the key number and the key string has to match on both the sides. And then we, we are going to apply this key chain on that particular interface. And once you apply this on the particular interface, they, they both must have the same key, key number and the key string in order to have a successful authentication. So whereas the, all the configuration goes under the interface mode. And in this video, we'll, we'll talk about EHRP name mode authentication. Now, if you compare with the classic mode, classic mode only supports MD5. Whereas in case of EHRP name mode authentication, it supports both MD5 and SHA algorithm. So secure hashing algorithm method. So uh, similar way, the MD5 authentication is more similar to the classical mode, whatever we did. Like the first step, we need to create a keychain, key number and the key string. And once the key number, key string matches on both the sides, then we need to apply this on the interface. But in case of name mode authentication, we are not going to configure on the interface directly. We need to get into the router routing instance mode and then under the address family IP v4 or IP v6. Depending upon the kind of the routing we are using, we need to define that interface as one by zero. And under that interface, we need to give an option called authentication mode. So once I give authentication mode, it will ask you two options, whether you want to use MD5 or SHA algorithm. And after that, we need to define the keychain. Now, similar way, in, in case of SHA authentication, in case of SHA authentication, we're not going to create any keychain. Directly, we need to apply the key, key number. Now, based on that key number, it's going to generate the algorithm. And if, if it matches, it's going to be a successful authentication. Now, in case of MD5, it's going to be the same. Now, either we can define on the specific interface or if you want to enable the interface on authentication on all the interfaces, then we can simply say AF interface default and we can apply these two commands under this mode. Now, whatever the configurations you do on the default interface mode, it is going to override the specific interface configurations. So if you configure any other authentication mode on the interface, it is going to override the default configurations. Now the same thing we can do on uh, in case of SHA authentication as well. So in case of SHA authentication, we don't need to create a key number and the key strings. We are going to directly define the key uh, under the interface by defining the SHA algorithm method. The authentication mode has to be SHA, SHA method. So let's try to see the same thing in the command line. Let's go to the command line. Now I got the same four route, three routers configured, router one, and router two, and router four. Now already I have a router one and router two are running the name mode configurations. So which means I'm going to use a name mode configurations here. And I'll be using a SHA, SHA authentication method between these two routers for the both IP version four and IP version six. And then I'll be, use, I'll be using some MD5 authentication method between router, four, router one and router four. And the router one is running the classic EHRP. And I'm going to run a new EHRP configurations that is name mode configurations. And the same thing I'm going to do on the router two as well. So let's go to router four and let's start with the configuration here. And you can see on the router four, the neighborship is up and everything is pre-configured here. The routing is pre-configured. And if you verify show IP protocols, I'm running EHRP 100 here, which means I'm not running the, the name mode authentic name mode configuration here. On the router four, I'm running a classic EHRP. And on the router one and router two, I'm running the name mode configurations. Now the first thing we'll try to configure the classic authentication first on the router four. So for that we need to create a keychain and then key number we need to create and then key one uh, keychain name key number and the key string. Let's say I'm giving a password of envoy one two three. After that we need to apply this on the interface. So on the router four we are connecting to router one on S one by one interface. We need to say IP authentication uh, and then we need to say EHRP mode and then we need to say EHRP MD4, EHRP 100 and you can see the classic authentication only supports MD5 authentication, IP authentication keychain, 
ई एज आप वन हंड्रेड एंड द किचन नेम आई क्रिएटेड एज आर फोर सो इफ यू वेरीफाई द इंटरफेस कॉन्फिग्रेशन वी हैव एडेड दिस टू कमांड्स ऑन द इंटरफेस एंड देन इफ यू वेरीफाई द की चेन शो की चेन सो की नंबर इन द की स्ट्रिंग Now let's do the same thing on the router one. I want to implement MD5 authentication on the router one, but this router is not running the classic mode. It's going. It's it's running my name mode configurations. So let's go to the. So here also we need to create a same keychain keychain name. Let's say I'm creating R1 key number, and the key string has to match on both the sides. So I'm using NVA one two three, and then I need to apply on the interface. on the interface s1 by 1 which is connecting between router 1 and router 4 uh, not exactly on the interface we need to go to router ejp 100 sorry eccie and then address family ipv4 autonomous system 100 now we need to define the interface on which interface you want to apply the authentication then we need to say authentication mode now i'm going to use the authentication mode as md5 here and i'm going to say authentication keychain For the keychain name, I'm going to use as R1. Done. So once the configuration is correct, in that case, I should see the neighborship between router one and router four has to be up. So you can see the neighborship has been established, the new adjacency. And if I verify show IP EHRP neighbors, you can see router one and router router one and router. It's actually four dot four dot four dot. One. The IP address here is 4.4.4.1, and here it is 4.4.4.2. So you can see the neighborship is up, and I should be able to see the route in my routing table of the router four network. Now, similar way, you can do the same thing for IPv6 also. Let's quickly configure the same thing for IPv6 also. So IPv6, I don't need to create any keychain. Let me just configure the same MD5. I for IPv4 we have configured. Now this time I'm going to run for IPv6. So on the router one and router four, I already have the keychain, so I don't need to create a keychain again because if you verify show keychain on the router four, we have the same uh, the same keychain can be used. Router four is running the classic EAGRP, so I'm going to say I'm going to in interface mode and under the interface I'll say IP authentication, IPv6 authentication, IPv6 authentication, and I can say mode EAGRP 100 MD5. and then i can say ipv6 authentication a uh, keychain keychain and the name and ejrp 100 and the name of the keychain so on the router 4 i have created a keychain with r4 so if you verify the configurations on the router 4 now these are the two commands we are going to add under the interface because on the router 4 it is running the classic ejrp now let's go to router 1 and router 1 i am going to run Run the name mode. So already there is a keychain created, so we don't need to create a keychain once again. The name of the keychain is R1. So I'm going to router EHR PCCI address family IPv6. This time we are implementing IPv6 here, and then I'm going to say interface AF interface S1 by one, and the same commands authentication mode. I want to use MD5, and then authentication keychain. The name of the keychain is R1 here. Now, once the configuration is done on router one and router four, I should see the neighborship has to come up between router one and router. You can see the neighbor adjacency has been established. Now, if you verify show IPv6 EHRP neighbors, now I can see the neighborship between R1 and R4 via S1 by one interface. And if you verify show IPv6 route EHRP, I can see the routes coming from the router four automatically. So the routing has been pre-configured in my lab here, IPv4 and IPv6. So let's go to router one and router two, and the SHA authentication I'm going to implement between R1 and R R2. Now the SHA authentication method is only supported in the name mode. So in my scenario, router one and router two both are running the name mode configurations. So in order to configure the name mode authentication, uh, name mode SHA authentication. Uh, we don't need to create a keychain or key number key string uh, we need to go to the router ejrp cci is the process id what i'm using address family ipv4 autonomous system 100 and then i'm going to say interface s1 by 0 
and then here we need to say authentication mode and then we need to directly define HMAC SHA algorithm and then I have to define the password so I'm going to define the keys key password as NOA12345 that's it so we don't need to create a keychain or key string directly we need to add these commands under that particular interface now the same commands I'm going to copy uh, let, let me do the same thing for IPv6 also so for IPv6 only the difference is address family IPv6 autonomous system 100 and then I need to go to the interface and the same commands apply here so if you verify the configurations uh, we need to go to interface the commands will be like this uh, a of interface s1 by 0 authentication mode under the address family IPv4 okay so let's go to router 2 also configure the IPv4 and IPv6 authentication for sure so router EHR PCCIE and then I need to define address family IPv4 autonomous system 100 and S1 by 0 interface and then exit back and then I need to say exit back address family IPv6 autonomous system 100 and then I need to say AF interface S1 by 0 and then I need to add the same command authentication mode NY12345 done so once I configure the IPv4 and IPv6 authentication for sure on the router 1 and router 2 I should see the neighbor adjacency has to be established between router 1 and router 2 so let's first verify the IPv4 neighborship show IP EHRP neighbors you can see the router 2 is forming the neighborship with router 1 and let's verify the IPv6 neighbors you can see the router 2 is still forming the neighborship with router 1 and if you verify the routes show IP route EHRP I can see the 10 down network here and the same thing if I verify show IP v6 route EHRP I can see the router 1 interface or the router 1 LAN interfaces in my routing table now this is how we configure authentication in case of a name mode in the name mode the major difference is whatever the configurations we do under the interface they all comes under the routing instance and we need to define the interface and then it's a little bit simplified we just use authentication mode and either you can use the mode of MD5 or we can define the mode of HMAC SHA algorithm.